I won't be able to get out and do much. Oh, yeah, well, you, you haven't this week. Uh, Monday was, like we said, the best day, mm -hmm. and uh, it just keeps getting worse, really, from here on out. Yesterday, we dealt with heavy rain, had one thunderstorm that actually pulsed severe for a very short time, right around 5.30 uh, yesterday afternoon. We expect the chances today that that happens again, especially in our southwestern counties. We'll talk about it here in a second. 50 right now in Summerton. I wouldn't say the wind is calm, but at least it might be light there in Summerton. The winds have kicked up all night long and have kept on going for this morning. Temperatures in the 40s for folks off to our east, 50s to our west, 49 right now in Hamilton, one of the outliers west of I-65. All the showers that we have around right now on Storm Team Radar are west of the Alabama-Mississippi state line. Good news there, so no rain. However, the rain that we've received here in the last 24 hours has been uh, pretty paltry. You see rainfall totals anywhere from two to three inches in our northwestern counties. A little bit less elsewhere, but still, some heavier rain was around yesterday, and we expect more of that for today. Some very light showers are possible this morning, but this main line of rain that's right now in Mississippi will move in later this afternoon. So let's look at it. So the light rain starts in the morning. I think the heavier downpours will stay west of the Alabama and Mississippi state line until we get to say 10 to 11 or so and then it starts to move across the state and especially in our southwestern counties this is going to be the area that we look at for increased instability and the chances of some stronger to possibly severe thunderstorms we're not talking about a severe weather outbreak just the possibility of one or two storms pulsing severe for a short time we're talking hail and possibly some gusty winds would be the main threat then as these storms move off to the east they continue to dump heavy rainfall and that's what we'll see that will be the main threat for us over the next 24 hours is the heavy rainfall the possible flooding with all of that as well through Thursday more showers more thunderstorms form in the morning on Thursday and move to the north this is a very complex pattern that we don't normally see this time of year but this is what we've got to deal with more showers more thunderstorms around for Friday as well and then the possibility yes again of more storms on Saturday and some severe weather too right now a lot to look at here in the forecast over the next several days so heavy rain storms possible today especially in our southwestern counties that's where the instability will be the greatest then for tonight overnight showers continue some heavy downpours are possible with those winds starting to slack off a bit heavy rain continues through friday thunderstorm is possible on saturday then finally on sunday we start the drying out process drier weather and then finally some sunshine by next monday that's your forecast